What's up everyone? My name is Cody Engel and in this video, the last video of the scope functions series, we are going to talk about the also scope function. So in our previous video, we talked about apply, you know, we have it right here. So I will just go ahead. I will copy over Homer with the print line. We'll come over to the project, go to scope. We will create a new file. This one will be called also. We'll minimize our navigation, close out of apply, create a new main function, zoom in on it just so we can see, and we'll paste in Homer or fictional person. So the main difference between apply and also is the object that is being referenced. So in both cases for apply and also, they will return the object itself. But with apply, it references this with also it will give you a reference to it and so we can say also person and then let's just say like print line person for example if we come over here we run this code we will see that it, it prints out this exact same thing twice that in itself not so useful. I mean, the the print line, so like this sort of a uh, a thing, if, if you wanted to like have a log statement or anything like that, that's where also can be kind of useful. Another one is let's say we have this fictional database. So let's say we have insert and then fictional person. And then just for the, the purpose of this, we're going to print out and say inserted fictional person into the database. Then with our also over here, we can just call the function, same thing like a print line, insert person. We run the code. We'll see here when this, this is being created, we also insert. And so we get the inserted fictional person into the database, wherever it, uh, wherever it shows up. And then afterwards we get our print line. So the order of operations is first we create the fictional person, also insert the, the fictional person. So call whatever values are, or whatever functions are being not, not needed. And then we do a print line here. So if this were say, you know, like a let scope function of uh, that started this video series and we tried to run it, we would see Kotlin unit. In that scenario, because let is just going to return that last statement again, it's not really that useful. It's it's or it's not like the desired behavior. That's where it also is is really nice. This is another situation where for me, I've actually noticed that I tend to only need one line for the also. So I'll just do also insert it. So insert the value into the into the database and then get on with it. That is that's kind of what also is I use it in situations. So with the apply, I used it in situations where I wanted a builder pattern, sort of a, a setup. Also, I use it in a situation where I want to have side effects, where I want to do things on top of the main thing. So in this case, the main part is I'm creating a fictional person, but I also want to insert it into a database. Where I've found I use this quite a bit is actually if I'm writing uh, tests where I have a database that is being t tested. So I'm testing some uh, SQL queries. And so I'm creating a bunch of test data. And that test data is what I'm going to ultimately do my assertions on. But in order to you know properly set up, I also have to insert it into the database. So think of using also when you want to do a side effect, a thing that isn't the primary purpose of that code block, but needs to be done. And yeah, that is it. I hope that this helped you out. I hope this extended series on scope functions was valuable. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more Kotlin tutorials, be sure to subscribe. We're done talking about scope functions, but we will have more Kotlin videos uh, in the near future. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.